Okay, today I'm going to be testing which coins flap the best in dry ice. Or what you do is you stick a coin in dry ice. And it starts wiggling back and forth. So what I want to test today is what type of coins do the best. Do bigger coins do the best or smaller coins? Do they need the grips on the side? So if you want to try this at home, let's see what coins are the best for flapping in dry ice. So dry ice is interesting because it's not actually water or anything, it's actually solid CO2. And CO2 at this pressure actually doesn't turn into a liquid, it just turns directly into a gas, it's called sublimation. And so what happens when you put something warm on it is that it just turns directly into a gas and it does so quite forcefully. For example, if you just put a warm spoon on it, you hear a very high-pitched scream. And that's because the gas that's forming there is under high pressure because you're pushing down on it and it's trying to escape. And so it escapes in very small pockets that slam the spoon up and down against the dry ice. And that creates this high pitch, high frequency scream of dry ice, carbon dioxide escaping from underneath the spoon. But for a coin, you're not actually pressing on it, you're just barely pushing it down due to gravity. And so the gas can escape out of the sides of it. And so it pushes the coin away and pushes it back the other direction and keeps pushing it back and forth, back and forth due to the expanding gases on either side of it. First, let's start out with our dime and see how well it does. It's going a little bit here. Pretty good. Okay, now let's try a penny. So this is a little bit bigger than a dime, made of copper, at least on the outside. A little bit different material. Let's see how it does. So the penny's not working too well. Okay, let's try our nickel. There we go, it's a better start. Okay, now the traditional quarter. Whoa. <laughs> Definitely better than the nickel and the penny and the dime. Going really good. Finally, let's try our 50 cent piece. So, this one has the advantage that it's a lot bigger, has a lot more mass, so it's not going to cool down as quickly. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, that one's really going. It just keeps going. So that extra mass is really helping it keep going and not cool down as quickly. And I think it's gonna be done. Oh, it's having to come back.
So my conclusion is that the quarter and the 50 cent piece both work equally well, but what's more important than anything is your starting push down into the dry ice. If you get it just right, pretty straight up and down, then it'll flap for a long time. Also, make sure your coin is not wet. So if you do it once and then reuse it again, there'll be a small amount of water on it and you have to make sure it's completely dry before you do it again or it won't wiggle that much. Okay, so let's see how many I can get flapping at one time. Your mark is set, go. There we go. Okay, and finally, don't try this at home. Dry ice in the mouth. If you move it fast enough, then it won't freeze to your tongue. If it slows down, it'll freeze to your tongue and give you frostbite. Okay, here we go. You can taste it kind of start to carbonate in your spit and your tongue, it's pretty cool. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And to be notified when my latest video comes out, remember to hit the bell button. And we'll see you next time.